You want to go up there a little bit? Yeah, let's go up there. to say that no he said it too so that's five people that's five people in this uh, city that love Satan no wonder the Catholic Church molested so many people because you love Satan in this city now there's six there's six now six people hell Satan in this city Thou shalt not have any other gods before me, says the Lord. Excuse me? Can I get you to stop? That's rubbish. Please turn down the high volume of the last of the damage of hearing, says my phone. Jesus. Only Jesus forgives sins. Only Jesus can forgive. Your Catholic Church has no power to forgive. Some of you are getting a little bit old. You're getting ready for the judgment seat. Maybe next week. Getting a little old. Excuse me, ma'am. As a, as a local laws authorized officer, I'm directing you to leave this public place. Please. Okay, I'll go whenever he goes. I, I'm going to go with Brad. Brad's my car. I gotta go when he goes because he's my drive. He's my. Can you perhaps ask him to take you somewhere now? You don't have to wait for him to make the first move. You're being asked to leave. Okay. So there's been a few complaints of, of causing a nuisance to people's quiet and peaceful enjoyment of the area. We can appreciate that. If that was yourself, you wouldn't you wouldn't like it. You know, you're wrong on that one, ma'am, because I'm really offended. Nobody yelled at me while I was in my sin. While I was a drunk, nobody yelled outside my bar. When I was smoking crack, nobody yelled outside my crack house. And I love you people today enough to plead with you to come to the cross, to come to Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin. God cares for you. He wants to save your soul. Jesus died on the cross for the sins of the world. He died for you. He died for you. Did you know Jesus personally? Say whatever you want. You're miserable. You're so miserable. Oh, Christianity smokes cigarettes. Yeah. No, Jesus sets people free from smoking. The Bible says those that the sun sets free are free indeed. Free. Freedom. 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 Have you got 
go to Buskis Permit? Freedom! Have you got a Buskis Freedom. Permit? Freedom! I got a permit from Mark chapter 16. Well, that makes no fucking sense. My permit comes from God. Okay. <laughs> Well, the Bible says, unless your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you'll be thrown into the lake of fire. That's Bible, Revelations 20, 15. Biblical Rose, it's Sharon. Look it up in the Bible. It means Biblical Rose. Roses can go to hell, ma'am. Just because you're a rose doesn't mean you don't stink before God. Your cigarettes sure make you stink. Your sin and your pride will make you stink worse. Thank you. <laughs> you like drugs? I used to stink really, really bad, boys and girls. I was a smelly, smelly sinner. And then Jesus washed me clean, made me new, 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 new. New, 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 new. Jesus is the only one that can wash your sins clean. No other religion offers you forgiveness of sin or a plan of salvation. I'm clean. I've got clean without, without Jesus Christ. Well, you're still miserable. No, I'm happy actually. No, you're not. I am. You cry yourself to sleep, sinner. No, he doesn't have to cry himself to sleep. I'm not bored. I'm forgiven because he was forsaken. I'm accepted. You were condemned. I'm alive and well, and your spirit lives within me. And Brad, because you died and rose again. Sing it with me, church. Sing it. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my king, would die for me? Yeah. Amazing love. I'm here to take that rainbow back. It's God's. I know it's true. It's my joy. Hang on, I'm not done. It's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor Jesus. Brad honors Jesus. Do you people honor Jesus? Oh, some of you will honor him at church, but you wouldn't dare shine before men. You hide it under a bushel. Here's what some of you are like. You hide. You hide. I don't want anybody knowing I'm a real Christian. You hide. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hide. See, the reason why you people hate us is because we're shining. Am I right? We're shining, aren't we, brother? Jesus is the one that puts Christians on a pedestal. Jesus puts Christians on a pedestal. We are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. That's why you people can't leave because you like to watch us burn for Jesus. Isn't that right? 
You guys are attracted to the light. Deep down inside, you want to be just like us, don't they? Deep down inside, you want to be just like us. Jesus said, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. My house is filled with top ops. Do a word search on the word compel. It means force. May the force be with you. Get your own wizard, Harry. Brad. I'm talking about the force of good. You people are under the force of evil. Bunch of Harry Potter wannabes. Repent, sinner. <laughs> God bless you, ma'am, for spitting in my hair. I rejoice with Jesus for being persecuted for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your perfect love is casting out fear. I said perfect love casts out fear, doesn't it, Brad? What did Jesus say? Jesus said, don't fear the one that can kill the body. Fear the one that can destroy both body and soul in hell. Sir, a little bit more of this. I see a lot of this, a little bit more of this, okay? Let's, let's close it up and listen to your traveling minister. That's right, I come from the United States of America. But I don't represent my country. I re represent a higher government called the government of God. The kingdom of God. And the Bible says repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. You people are headed for hell unless you repent. Thank you, sir. Preach to me, woman. Thank you, sir. You know, this is all a joke. That shit doesn't exist. No. It's more real than you, sir. No, it's not. Jesus is more real than you. Oh, yeah, he's real. He didn't fucking die and come back to life, though. Oh, yeah, he did. He got nailed on a cross and fucking laid there. Oh, yeah, he did. See, there was a God mocker just like you on the cross next to him. God mocker looking at Jesus on the next cross. He went to hellfire, deserved it. And then there was another guy hanging on a cross next to Jesus. Am I right, Brad? He wanted mercy. That guy wanted mercy. Some of you might actually want your sins forgiven. Some of you actually might not want to eat worms the rest of your life in a lake of fire. Some of you actually might want to be on the streets of gold. Holy water! Nothing holy about your water, sir. Nothing holy about your water. Nothing holy about the Catholic water either. I used to work in Hollywood. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. ISIS kills, Jesus heals. ISIS is the most on fire Muslims you'll ever meet. ISIS is the most obedient Muslims you'll ever meet. Because ISIS actually believes in the Quran. Have you read the Quran? ISIS believes in the Quran. That's why they are the way they are. Because they take it serious. Like Brad and I, we take our relationship with Jesus very seriously. Earlier I asked Brad why he became a Christian. He said because he feared God. 
You people need a good dose of the fear of God right now. I'd be okay if God sent an earthquake. I'd be okay with it. Then you, after you people pee in your pants, you'll ask us what must we do to be saved. All of you are going to pee in your pants at the judgment seat. Every one of you. Go get your grandma panties today. Because you're going to pee at the judgment seat. You're going to stand there and you're going to cry. Ah, don't send me to hell. I didn't mean it. 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 Let me tell you something, friend, all jokes aside. When you die, you face God, and God is going to hold you accountable. Do you hear me? God will hold you accountable for every sin you've ever done. You reject Jesus, Jesus will reject you. That's the Bible. Well, you can go to hell if you want. There's plenty of people in hell. Plenty of people in hell. More people in hell than heaven. They're running our congregation off. You don't have to leave. You don't have to leave. You can be transformed by the power of God today. You can have your sins forgiven. Jesus Christ will set you free. Some of you are in bondage. You're in bondage. You want to be free, but you don't know how to get free. The Bible declares those that the Son of God sets free are truly free indeed. I hope y'all are reading His sign, because everything you need to know is right here. Here we go. Jesus... The Son of God died for your sins. He was buried, arose again, shed His blood for sins, saves from hell, gives eternal life, will return, repent, and trust Jesus to be saved. And He even gives you an address in the Bible to be a student of the Word to see if he just told you the truth. Just turning the camera on for my safety. A few police are here. Had a great day, great outreach. We've been here about an hour and a half. And uh, we'll see what happens. Actually, there's two more cops coming back there, so there's six. About two hours. Okay. I've never seen anything in writing. How are we going? Hi. Can you come over here? Sure, sure will. And I'll speak to you once you turn that off. Uh, I need to record it for my protection. I'll keep it on me. What protection? In case I'm arrested, I'll have protection for myself. Thank you. You can just give your full details to the police officers sure. here. Who's your friend? This is Brad. He lives here. I'm from... You don't live here? No, sir. I'm from America. Yeah, I'm going to get it out of my backpack. You want my uh, visa? Details from you, that's right. Do you just do you want to see them or just? Yeah, I'll, I'll ask you the. Okay, I'll just tell you then. Over here at Bridgemore at the moment.